Hello everyone. Welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to rig and animate a 360 degree head rotation in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to be working on. And this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Now let's jump on to After Effects. So right now, here our first job is to select the top here and side here. Come over here in FX and Presets panel and type in Set Mat. Apply this effect and then I'm going to change this one to here back and I'm going to turn on the rasterize. So don't forget to turn on the rasterize if you are applying Set Mat effect on an Illustrator layer. So right now. We are going to parent the side here with top here and I'm going to open the position property of top here and put a keyframe. Then jump on to next six frames and we're going to first of all put a ruler over here at this junction and then I'm going to move the top here and put it at this point at this junction. All right, so here our partial head rotation is done. So now only job left is rotating the face. Okay, now I'm going to select the from eyebrows to mouth, all the facial features and again apply set mat on it. And I'm going to change this one to face this time and also turn on the rasterize of the face as well and I'm going to change the color of the layer to properly detect it and now I'm going to add a new null layer and move the anchor point to center and then I'm going to move it at this point after that, let's rename it facial features. Then I'm going to select all these facial features layers and parent it with null. So as I move the null, everything moves together. Okay, now I'm going to select the facial features null layer and parent it with face. And then we are going to add some keyframes on the face and back layer as well back here as well so i'm going to open the position property put a keyframe over here and jump onto the next frame at this point this is the side view of the head now i'm going to move the back here and face as well So for now, let's turn off the visibility of the facial features. So this is the side view. And after that, at three frames, this is the total vag view. After that, this will be the side view or, or else we can slightly customize the position a bit. We can slightly rotate it in this side. So this becomes the side view and then we are going to move the head at this side and the here at this position. Okay. And at this point we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframes. So let's check our animation, not the animation, just the key poses. At this point, we can slightly adjust it and keep it in the edges. All right. So now I'm going to select the facial elements, turn on the visibility, and then I'm going to select the facial features, this null layer, and open the position property. And at this point, so this was our side view. We are going to move the face at this position. I'm going to put a keyframe on the position property of mouth as well. 
and slightly move it this side and okay let's move it slightly more and then i'm going to adjust the position of the retainer so i'm going to open uh, select both the retainers and open the position property put keyframes all right we can adjust the top here a bit at this point we can just give it pull it in the side all right this looks better and now we are going to select this null feature and totally move it outside all right and i'm going to select the initial keyframes and paste it over here let's move the move the keyframes over here all right okay now so this is the total back view so right now i'm going to select all these layers of the facial features including the null layer and split it and pull it below press u to open the properties with keyframes and put keyframes at this particular position and i'm going to delete the in between keyframes okay now i'm going to open okay now i'm going to select the facial features layer and just pull it this side all right and then at this point we are going to pull it back over here and at this point we are in the initial position okay now we are going to open the mouth and put the initial position at this point as well so here we are going to pull the mouth and put it over here and also i'm going to add some keyframes in at this retina as well so i'm going to put position keyframe over here all right after that i'm going to select these layers and just trim it to the start open the opacity put a keyframe on opacity now come over here in the midway put key opacity keyframes again at this point again put opacity keyframes so i will select all these only this row of keyframes and i'm going to convert it into hold keyframes and give it zero opacity well i'm also going to convert the opacity keyframes of the other rows in hold keyframe as well so same with this one with the special features i'm going to trim it to the end so move the layer end over here so open the opacity keyframe put a keyframe over here put a keyframe over here as well and put one here as well and after that i'm going to select all these opacity keyframes and give it zero degree of opacity and this 100 percent of opacity convert it to hold keyframes okay so now i'm going to press q to open all the properties with keyframes and select all the keyframes but before that i'm going to open the twig bezel plugin and come over here in rigging and then links and constraints click on this dot on connectors so you will get this ui click on this one slider this is an one day slider and I'm going to move it in a better position. I'm going to select all these keyframes. And then I'm going to come over here and click on connect to properties. All right. So right now whole, your whole head is rigged properly.
So as you can see, as you move the slider, this is your head complete full 360 degree rotation. Now, if you just put position keyframes on the slider and let's jump on to next 30 frames. And I'm going to move this slider at this particular position. It's a complete 360 degree rotation. All right. So that was it for this lesson. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.